Hey everyone, building internal links is one of the fastest and most overlooked ways to improve your keyword rankings. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Ahrefs to find loads of high authority, topically relevant internal link opportunities for new and existing assets in minutes. So let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is run a site audit in Ahrefs and the tool will walk you through the different steps to set this up. And it should only take a few minutes depending on the size of your site. And once that audit's finished running, what you'll do is you'll come back over into the site audit dashboard and then you should see your site listed here. So simply click on that link and then come down and click the crawl completed tab there. And then you'll come over here in the left tab in the left sidebar and you'll see under tools, there's an internal link opportunities link. So just click that. And what that's gonna do is bring you into this report. And you can see here that it's found 190 internal link opportunities for my personal blog. And Ahrefs states that the report is generated by identifying the 10 best keywords by traffic for each ranking page on your website, and then looking for where those keywords are mentioned on other pages on the site. And the great thing about this tool as well is that it only returns opportunities where the target URL is not already linked to from the source URL. So essentially these are all going to be net new opportunities and eliminates a lot of the time that you would normally spend manually checking and reviewing content to make sure that you haven't already internally linked from that asset. Now here in the first column, we've got the page rating score, which essentially shows you the strength of the source pages overall internal link profile on a 100 point scale. And this is a really helpful metric if you wanna filter out the URLs that can pass the most link equity to a given target page on your site. Now you'll also be able to see too how much traffic is going to each of these different source pages. And this is super helpful because if you say publish a conversion asset that you wanna funnel more traffic to from a related piece of content on your site, this is a really quick way to find those specific opportunities. And then as we move across here in the table, you're also gonna be able to see which keyword the target page is ranking for, and even more importantly, the context in which that is being referenced. And this information helps you ensure that you're only building internal links from topically relevant sources on your website. So pay attention to the keyword context tab here or column, because this is essentially gonna show you or tell you how relevant that link placement will be in the context in which that keyword is being referenced. Now, finally, over here on the right side, you're gonna be able to see the position and the estimated organic traffic a target page is getting from a given keyword. Now, all this data is great, but if you're working with a site that's returning hundreds or maybe even thousands of internal link opportunities, you're probably gonna have to prioritize your efforts. And this is where the tool's advanced filter can save you a ton of time. So if we just click the filter drop down here, there are gonna be many different ways that you can use filters because there's a lot of different options available in the drop down. but I'm just gonna show you a few that I like to use here in this video. So the first one here is we'll just use source is canonical, yes, and source is no index, no. Those are the default values when you trigger that dropdown. So just leave those as is for now. But the first thing that you can do here is you can come across and say, okay, I wanna add another rule. And what you, I like to do is go, I wanna set my target page. So in this case, I'm looking for internal link opportunities for a specific page. Now this could be an existing asset that you're wanting to improve rankings for, or maybe it's a new asset that you just published and you're trying to quickly get some internal links pointing to it. Enter in that. So in the case of my article on finding target keywords, I'll just drop that URL in here and say target page and then equals and then drop in the URL and hit apply. And you'll see here, it's already telling me that there are 50 results that have come through. Now you can then layer on additional filters like a minimum page rating score or source traffic to uncover a smaller set of source URLs that are highly linked from across the site and are also already getting organic traffic. So what I could do is just go plus here again, adding another rule. And now what I wanna do is say, hey, I only wanna see pages that have a minimum page rating of, let's just say for this example, anything greater than or equal to 20. And then I'll add in another rule here and say, okay, now I only wanna get uh, internal links or find internal link opportunities from source pages where their traffic is greater than let's just say 50 for this example. Now, obviously these thresholds will change depending on how much traffic your site's getting. It might be lower for smaller sites with less traffic. They might be much higher for authoritative sites with a lot of traffic, but I'll just use those as two examples here. So now we're looking for 
all the internal link opportunities for my new post on target keywords that does already have some page rating or page authority built up from all the internal links that are already going to them. And then they are already getting some traffic. Now I hit apply and you can see now I've found five results and these are internal link opportunities that will not only pass link equity to my new post on target keywords, but there's also an opportunity to pass traffic through to this asset now, since all of these posts have organic traffic going to them each month. Another filter that can be handy too, is if you're focusing on your low hanging fruit, existing keyword opportunities, what you can do is come in, add another rule. And then what you want to do now is come down to the target page position. And in here you can go anything less than or equal to 10, which is essentially saying, I want to find all the internal link opportunities for pages on my site that are already ranking on the first page. Now I'll click apply and you can see now I've got 48 different opportunities in here. The thinking or the logic behind this filter is these are low hanging fruit URLs or keywords that if we can build some additional internal links to these, we could potentially accelerate ranking improvements especially if it's done with a content refresh. And if you want to group these, you can just come over and click target page. And as an example, if I scroll down here, you can see there's a bunch of opportunities for my article on keyword gap analysis. And I've got a bunch of these keywords like keyword gaps, keyword gap, and a bunch of URLs on my site that I'm not currently internally linking from to this asset. And it's a fairly competitive keyword. So building some internal links from those, especially the ones with traffic and a higher PR score could definitely help increase or move that off the bottom of page one. Okay. And one other final way filter that you could use is if we just remove this, click apply again, so I can get all of my opportunities. Now what I can do is I can come up to the source page column header and just click this one. And what I'm trying to do here essentially is group all of the internal link opportunities together. So if you want to just work through one page at a time and find all the opportunities on your site where you can increase embed internal links to other assets rather than jumping around from one article to another. This can be sometimes a help helpful way to do that. So in the case of my blogging tips article, I can see I've grouped them together. I've got three opportunities from here where I can link to my article on target keywords, as well as my on page SEO article, as well as my increasing organic traffic guide. Okay. So that's three ways that you can use the Ahrefs internal link opportunities tool to quickly uncover high authority, topically relevant internal link opportunities and use these advanced filters to prioritize your initial set of targets. But feel free to play around with the filters and find what works best for you. Those are just a few different ways that I've been using the tool up to this point. And if you like this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel if you want to get more actionable bite-sized SEO tutorials just like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.